feels good. It feels good to be three and one. It'll feel, you know, better, you know, next week as well. You know, so we continue to grow and and just get better, and uh, you know, just enjoy the process. The Blue Bombers are fresh off a win in Toronto, now sitting at three and one. But the season has been marred by rough hits and the question of whether star quarterback Buck Pierce has a target on his chest. A hard hit on Buck by Toronto Argonaut EJ Qualley Saturday saw the Argo linebacker ejected from the game and has the CFL reviewing the helmet to helmet hit. I'll just, you know, say this once because I know I'm going to get asked it, asked it a lot. Uh, but you know, I thought it was late. Um, you know, the referee thought it was late. On the film, it was late, and uh, you know I'm glad that they they addressed it, and uh, you know now we can move on. Yeah, it was a late hit. It was flagged for a late hit. So um, you know, and the legal you know legal analyze it and, and deem what they feel is any judgments have to be beyond that. Buck was in a position where he had thrown the ball and released it, and he was he, he needed he, he he gets protection by the rules. There's been talk this season about what seems like a lot of helmets popping off of players' heads across the league. But the coach says it's up to the players to strap them on tight. I think every once in a while there's certain isolated guys are doing it uh, that, that did, probably don't have enough air in their helmet or don't have their chin strap done up enough. Uh, but we've been instructed by the league to make sure guys are doing that. And uh, that, was, that was even before the season started. So, you know, the league will look at it. But I think it's, uh, we just got to make sure we have enough air in the helmets. Quali has said he will appeal if fined by the CFL for the hit on Buck last Saturday. The Blue and Gold host the 0-4 BC Lions Thursday at Canadian Stadium. From the Winnipeg Free Press News Cafe, I'm Tanya Kohut.